How you doing? My name is Doug Kenny. I've been playing guitar for 40 some years and I am a comedian is what I do for a living. But I am starting my guitar instruction channel. And this is my first video. And I wanna teach you the coolest lick that I learned. The coolest thing I learned from the very beginning, which was a Hendrix lick that we call the A blues scale, which is just this. <laughs> That's it, and it has some weird notes in it, and I'm gonna show you how to move that around the guitar to where you can get out of that natural box that everybody plays in and actually play some different notes that you may not have known were there. The average normal blues major scale is A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Those licks, those notes are in the A major scale. Well, the A blues scale is a little different. I call it the Hendrix scale. It's the coolest lick in the world. Every guitar player utilizes it. And I'm gonna teach it to you and it's super easy to learn. And it's just this. A, C, D, D sharp, E, G, A. And if you notice, there's some notes in there that aren't in the A major scale. C, D sharp. Those notes aren't in an A major scale, but they work in this soloing and they work all over the guitar, and I'm gonna show you how that works. This scale can be moved to all different strings real easy if you just learn the pattern and the shape of it, which is this shape right here. What you wanna do is you wanna take that shape and move it on all six strings so you can practice it, which is really easy to do, and you can slow your YouTube down if it's this is too quick, you can slow it down. I tuned it to uh, D sharp, E flat, most rock players do. And so if you wanna tune with me, that's tuned to E flat. And this scale, starting out in small pieces and repetitively, all goes back to the same A note, like this. Start over, start over, start over. That's it, that's the whole lick. And I practice it in pieces to make, to make it quicker and get better. And that's real simple to do like this. I still practice that now. In all different pieces of it. You can take that lick and move it into your at, your normal box A major scale is just these notes. Do it up here too, at the octave. If you don't know what the octave is, the open string and the 12 string, that's the octave. Everything down here, once you get past the double dots, is the same thing up here. So if you're at this, you utilize your dots on the guitar. Always utilize your dots. They help you a lot, and they're on almost every guitar. Second dot here, A. Second dot here. Past the double dots, octave is an A. Really easy to transpose if you don't know a lot of theory, and you know most players don't. I know I didn't until I took lessons. Uh, and this is very helpful to, to track where you are on the guitar. Now, this, this lick that I'm doing here is so simple and so easy that once you learn the one little piece of it, you can actually apply it to a rhythm, which I will give you later on in this lesson that you can play over and, and practice and get better at. And that lick, like I said, is... That's just the same seven notes over and over and over. I may have hit a wrong note there. Here's the trick about that note, about that lick. You don't have to do it in the key of A. You can do it in every key. All you have to do is find that root note. Same thing with the A. When you're doing this A, you don't have to start here. You can start at this A and do the same shape. This, this A, 
Once you hit the B string, you know, because the B is a weird string, you have to move up one fret to stay, uh, to resolve yourself. So it would be same lick in A and the key of A. Same thing, same here with A. Over here. Same thing with the, with the note. Same thing. That's the cool part about this lick, and it takes you out of that that same box that you might feel like you're stuck in when you're playing solos. Here's the trick to this: any key you're playing in, you start out with that root note. That's my bird, Duchess, who will always be making appearances in all my lessons. That root note. If you're playing in a key of E, you just start with that root note of E. Same exact shape. You just move it around the guitar. Once you learn that shape, it opens up so many different doors for you in any key. C sharp minor. Just start on the C sharp C sharp. That's all you gotta do is just learn that shape. Anywhere on the guitar. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play you a rhythm in A to where you can solo over this with what I just showed you. And all you have to do is loop it or just play along with it and it'll show you how well this lick works. And I'm gonna start these lessons. This is the start of my channel. I, I do comedy for a living. And you know, with the, with the virus, we've had to come up with creative ways to keep ourselves busy and make a living and I'm trying to build my channel so if you like what you see here give me a follow give me a like whatever it is I hate asking for that but um, every little bit helps um, if there's any questions you got I've been teaching since 1980 I'm not the greatest guitar player in the world but I've been around a long time I toured and played professionally for many many years and and uh, I have a lot to teach so if you have something you want me to teach you other than my regular lessons which I'm going to be putting something out every single day uh, give me a follow and and check me out. And uh, I'm going to play you a lick, a, a rhythm in A, so you can solo over it. And I'll do this for a few minutes, and hopefully you can uh, get used to playing this lick. And good luck with it. <laughs> Two, three, four. Just use that shape I showed you. Try it all over the guitar. I hope this helped. Uh, hope this helped your playing. It helped mine a lot. I learned it from Hendrix years ago. So tune in again tomorrow and uh, we'll come up with another lesson. And thank you so much for stopping by.